And hello, everyone. You may have heard of the Pandora's Vault. I'm a I actually just watched a video of Brasso and he, him, Dream, and the bad boy Halo were escaping the Pandora's Vault. And you, after that, the, someone made, I, I'm not sure, I don't know all the information about it, someone actually made something called the Poseidon's Vault. Which was said to be inescapable, but it is very much escapable. You can easily do that. Well, not easily. I'm, I, I, I personally cannot escape a vault like that. Then they made the Hades vault, proved to be inescapable, but it was actually. They said that no one could in and no one could could get out. But I literally saw someone doing that in four minutes. Four minutes. Okay, maybe more, but still. I'll tell you who it was later, but now I'm working on what I will call the Vault of Zeus. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to put this up for download, but this I'm planning to be more secure than anything else. I'm currently first building the inside, and you see here, the prisoner, instead of going through the main entrance, which will only be able, which can only be opened by the main command room. <coughs> Oh, it's actually open right now. You see, all of these diamond blocks will be pushed in. These are for someone to actually break out of this of this door. They, if it's if the door if the if the door is entirely closed, someone would need to break 16 diamond blocks with bare hands while they have mining fatigue. Three. Well, I'm still I still haven't put all of the elder guardians here, but anyways. So, here's what's gonna happen. People are not going to enter through the door. That's uh, that's actually kind of the exit. <laughs> or the entrance for the guards. Uh, the prisoner will enter through the roof. By a very complex system that I have still not built. They will enter into, into the first prison cell. Which, if they manage to escape through this somehow. If they manage to somehow somehow break the door while they have mining fatigue they will have to find fig they will have to stand literally on the edge of this and try to push i think i need a sword for this but anyways this is um something that i'm still working on i started working on it yesterday they will literally have to stay on the edge of this yeah and they'll have to hit one of those if they don't do that they fall to their death. Eternally. Okay, maybe not eternally. But anyways. <coughs> I'm still haven't I still haven't made all of the How do I say this? All the stuff that you have to be checked for. And this can only be opened if they have a block. Any type of block. Or an item. Now they might be able, if they're playing an adventure mode, they won't be able to get out of here at all. But of course they're not going to be playing in adventure mode, they're going to be playing in, I'm assuming just, I don't know, survival? Yes, yes, survival. They'll have, they can break the torch, the torch will fall down there, push the pressure plate, and now I'm actually going to demonstrate to you how this is supposed to work. Wait. Wait. Oh, damn it, dear. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about something. Good thing I still haven't put the ceiling over here. This all there has there's another switch on the other side that also has to be flipped by someone from the outside. And only when this is flipped, the door will open. Now of course they can obviously break through the diamond blocks. But you see here, yeah see, yeah see over here. You see, they will be checked every hour and for all i know if it take with mining fatigue 3 it will take you 20 hours to break a single block of obsidian so it should take around i'm not quite sure how much time with bare hands to break a diamond block but they will be checked by the guards every hour and also this is not the newest version of minecraft so i can't use netherite blocks but uh don't worry we'll figure that out this down here is also the main command room, which if you're watching this, please do not use this information. 
to um, cheat your way out of the prison. Mm -hmm. So now where was I? Uh, yes, of course. Now did I already mention the the eight block door? And I don't know why I called it eight block, but anyways, in order for you to escape in time, you would need someone to come from the outside, enter without enter with full netherite armor. Okay, maybe just diamond armor, but I'm not sure. I'll, I'll figure that system out. They will need to push this switch, and not only that, you you will have to make sure that they're somehow here. Okay, you may, okay, you will obviously be able to see their name tags, but anyways, you will have to break this torch at least six minutes before they arrive, because in seven minutes, I think these, I think every item respawns in seven minutes. Now, <coughs> they will have to flip this switch. So let's close that off. And even when you escape that, I'm gonna build a complex tunnel system. Where you will be tricked into entering another vault. Which will, well, not another vault, rather another holding containment cell. That's how we're gonna call it. Sounds a little SCP-like, but no. Let's not accept that. Now anyways, this here is, even if you manage to escape through all of the every single one of the containment cells, which there will be, I, I am assuming, five I will try to build of them. <coughs> you will have to walk through this. And if you escape the fifth one, an alarm will go off. That alarm will, clo will shut down all of the lights. And everyone, all of the guards should obviously have night vision potions on them. <coughs> There'll be a guard here. This is the only way to get out of the to get out of the prison. This is one the only way. You have to pass through here. And the, and I'm still working on it. I know I'm just decided to show you my progress for this. And even if you escape all the things, you're gonna have to escape through this. Which if the, if a guard sees you with the flip of this switch, the doors close. And if you're here, even if you try to come at over here to break the glass, you won't be able, because you have mining fatigue, it will take you like a minute, and in less than a minute, with the flip of this switch, which before I thought I would be dropping mobs down in here, I'm thinking the I will put a bunch of dispensers down there, and they will dispense lava, when this is flipped, which I'm still working on the system, oh yeah, that opens up by the way, so yeah, that's kind of how it happens. And uh, also, I'm thinking of trying to make an alarm, like in the Poseidon's ball or something like that. Now, if someone is coming to visit, because the rules are that the prisoner cannot be spawn killed, or they cannot be encased in a one by one block box of inter of forever suffering, they need to be. A they have to be. A someone will have to be able to visit them. And that should be easy because every single one of the cells, well, not right now they're just two cells. If the prisoner is in cell number two, or in cell number one, in cell number one, you just go to the iron door, open it up, and check it. In cell number two, though, it's a little bit more complex. You have to be led by the guards. Enter through the command room, which controls everything. It controls if you want, I don't know, if... Let's say you want to close this door. Closed. The diamond, it's a diamond door. You go through here and I still haven't made the light systems. Don't worry, I'll do that soon. You go through this tunnel and I seriously, you know what? No, no, I, I'm gonna make the lighting. I will make all of the lamps functional. It's an easy way to do it. You just uh, plop this over here and there you go. Oh wait, nope, over here. Lights all of these lamps. They're always... They're also, I'm planning to make a maze of corridors. Because you see, the prisoner will have no idea what the layout of the entire prison actually is. Mainly because they will enter through the roof, not through the actual entrance where all the corridors are. 
Also, I made a cool way for this door to open and shut. See? Diamond blocks. And like that. Close a little bit differently, but you can't really see it because it moves too fast. Now, in order to visit the prison, if the prisoner has entered this cell, and why is this not working? Prisoner will be kept in here. If, e if the prisoner is ever to be killed, I will. The lava will be dispensed from the upper dispensers, and there's a button for that. Placed in the command room. And when that's flipped, basically the prisoner will instant will should die in like what five seconds, something like that. But the thing here is that you have to navigate through all of the tunnels, and you will not have night vision. You will you will not see anything. You might just randomly, like let's say someone might act a guard could see you running down a corridor and he'd be like, all right, all right, no, you're dead, you're dead. No point in even running. I don't even know why you're doing this stuff. But, and over here, why, why am I saying the, the same word continuously? I, I'm, I'm like trying to prove something. I'm like trying to prove someone wrong. This is where the person who lets people in will be. And if anyone tries to grieve them, tries to kill them, there's, they, can ease, they can just flip the switch and go over here where I will try to build... Like a... <coughs> something like a mini bunker. If someone comes in with TNT, that would be very bad. Really would be, actually. Incredibly bad it would be, most certainly. And also, not only that, but also, there will be dispensers over here that will dispense lava. I still haven't wor made everything correctly, but you get the point. The prison... Also, I made a little contraption over here doesn't really do anything also I'm thinking of this to be one of the trick traps one of the traps this is also my little contraption that doesn't do anything and it's just here because well it can be see just moves a single cobblestone block around I don't know why I made it just feeling inspired sometimes you know yeah that yeah yeah now I can basic I can practically make every single one of these blocks from not from obsidian, even though that will be much more better. Much better. I don't, why did I say much more better? It will just be much better if that happens. Now also, in order to enter this prison, there are a lot of these little doors. I'm going to try to make them all that you will have to have a certain block on you in order to activate them. And open them and close them. And well, that's basically it. The main command room actually. Ha I'm tr I'm planning on making the the containment breach button over in this sim in, over in that room over there. I almost said simp, simp. Don't be a simp, children, or else people will hate you for life. All right. Anyway, so uh, you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's also a door for. There's literally a door for everything in here. This. I will still be. I'm still working on it. This is the only room that has torches and not redstone lights. When this is flipped, it will always mean one thing. Or maybe I can. Wait a second. What did I just do? Okay, no, 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 no. no. Here's what is gonna happen. That switch over there will be the kill switch. It will kill the prisoner. I'm gonna try to add something that will kill the prisoner in every single containment cell. And because I can't make this video too long, we're gonna have to end the video somewhere over here. Hopefully this gets a lot of views and likes and stuff like that. Also, I saw a kid, I don't I do not remember his name, he made a video that he made something that he said is more secure than the, pos than the Hades vault. He called it the Heaven's vault. And I don't really know why he said it's more secure. Because you see here. You know what? Just find the video. You can just go on Google. Write Heaven's Vault. And I just knocked over one liter bottle of iced tea. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Just write it on Google and you'll find it. You'll see the kid. You'll be you'll, you'll seriously be very confused about that. 
Also, I'm going to make an automatic door over here, which will have another switch over there for. And that's basically where I have reached this for now. I'm going to have to make a lot of, a lot of more vaults and stuff like that. You know what? I'm even going to show you how this... Did I already show you? Look. One after another. Alright, well, we're going to have to end the video here. Have a nice day. Share this channel in the video. And maybe I'll start making videos in English. More like this one. I'm honestly just... You know what? Goodbye. Have a nice day.